Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a very quick and simple paper hanger to enable you to do uh, moments experiments like this. So, for this you will need the sheet printed off, which you can get from examsmasher.com slash moments. There's two per sheet. Uh, some scissors, a glue, and a hole punch. And that's about it. It's a pretty quick process. There's some instructions on the sheet. Basically what you need to do is cut around the shape. You don't have to be too precise about your cutting. It's not going to make a huge difference as to how it works. What's slightly more important is the quality of your folding and your hole punching in a moment. So we'll cut around the shape. That's step one, cut around the shape. Step two is to fold along the two dashed lines. You can actually fold it over your ruler if you like, because that's where it's going to go. The two folds are going to fit over your ruler, so you can actually fold it over the edge of your ruler like that to get two folds along the two dashed lines. You're then going to glue under one striped triangle and stick it under the other striped triangle here. Try and make sure they line up quite neatly. Like that. We're going to cut out the grey diamond in the centre, which has now become a triangle. Technically it's a rhombus, of course, but I called it a diamond. I don't know why I did, but probably should have called it a rhombus. Uh, we're then going to hole punch through the circle. This is the one bit where you want to make sure you've got the hole punch lined up nicely along that centre line. It's the first time I've used this hole punch to do it, so we'll see if I manage to do a good job or not. Yeah, not bad. So you want to hole punch it with the hole centered nicely along that line. And that's it, you're done. So then you just shove your ruler, your meter ruler through here. And the idea is that it makes your moments experiment a bit easier to conduct because this is inherently stable when you hang it from the punched hole. So now if I show you the real thing set up over here, let's just get it nicely focused. There we go. Uh, here you have it set up. So here I've got it set up so that the ruler is um, suspended from exactly its center point. And if I take these two weights off, The first thing you want to do is check that the, your ruler hangs horizontally. If it's not hanging horizontally, it's not a big problem. Get some blue tack and stick some blue tack to one end or the other until it, it hangs nice and horizontal. If you want to check if it's horizontal, you could always measure the height from the bench to the ruler at one side and the height to the other side. Then after that, the easiest way I find to hang things off it is to get about 15 centimeters of string um, and just tie a little knot in it. And you can use that to hang your weights off it. And then, you can go around doing whatever uh, experiment you want, either by hanging multiple weights from different sides of the ruler and moving them until it's horizontal again. Or alternatively, you could be trying to balance it with only one weight, in which case you're gonna move the ruler through the support until you get it to balance horizontally again. Doesn't look very horizontal for you because of the angle the camera is at. Sorry about that. There we go. So that's how to make the hanger. And once you've made the hanger, you can do your experiment.